Welcome, welcome back guys, Salavathan here, we are back with another reaction today, continuing up the legend of Vox Machina, we're on season 2 episode 6, uh, last episode was a Keyless centric episode, you know, we learned a little bit more about her past and uh, why she seemed a little bit hesitant about her own Aramente, we entered the area of the fire Ashari and we found that there was chaos ensuing, right, there was um, a portal from the fire dimension, Mentioned, I think they called it and there were these beasts that were coming out and attacking everybody killing them murdering It was crazy. It was honestly crazy turns out that um that uh, Thordak came from the fi that fire dimension or or whatever and he was trapped there in the past so Definitely he was the reason that all of that happened. It always comes back to the Chroma Conclave. It always does <laughs> But it, this was definitely an episode with growth for Keyleth. She went into fire plane She pulled out this crazy blue fire like like I don't even know but that was a That was a great scene like with her coming up becoming the whole like fire Monster thing. I don't know. I liked it, but she finally uh, came out there and we saw her with some new drip You know so it looked as though that she completely the first trial of her Aramente, she mastered fire. But we're not gonna waste any time, let's get started here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And man, drop a comment down below on your thoughts on this reaction. I'd love to read it. But we're not gonna get we're gonna not gonna waste any time. <laughs> let's get started with the Legend of Vox Machina season two, episode six. Into Rhyme Cleft. Let's go. Oh, is this a bit of a backstory for Grog? Nah, nah, I think this is like something inside his mind. He still has the Craven's Edge. Yeah. True glory, man. True glory. But what at but at what cost? Oh my god. <laughs> that seems like a pretty heavy cost! Oh, yes. Who's Kevdak? That's definitely something from Grog's past. A father? A mentor? <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, what a lovely morning to find a sphinx. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't get enough sleep? <laughs> God, man. <laughs> Your armor, you, um, getting more used to it? Hard to get used to a relic of the goddess of death. Maybe you could ask her for help. Ask the matron of ravens. Somehow I doubt she'd listen. You could try. Deliver an olive branch, you know? Don't fight against the power, work with the power, right? I understand why he's scared though, right? Cause like the Matron of Raven seems like something that will always come with a price. Rhymecleft. The place I saw in that vision. The entire range is eternally cold. <sighs> I'm as cold as a corpse. And I'd rather not repeat that experience. Oh no, Percy, I didn't mean- No, please take it. I'm fine. <laughs> You can tell there's a little bit of a relationship blooming also with Percy and Vex. So, uh, how you feeling, buddy? Cause, you know, lately, you've been real fixated on- Oh yeah, just a sec, bud. Oh, jump out, jump out, here we go. What's this now? Ancient runes? Seekers. This is the I next tomb that they gotta go fools. into, right? To find the next this vestige. Land, no, flee this land, for dangers come from, from paradise. Like up in the sky. <sighs> Valantia. Interesting. I love I love how there's always gonna be like a secret to finding these tombs. What is this place? A temple. An old one. Aren't they all? Not this old. 
Built before the divergence. Very smart. And yet not smart enough to heed my warnings. Oh, there it is, yo. The second Sphinx. There it is. My we have to be very centuries. careful, though. One of the it's dragons is here, centuries. lurking in the shadows. I am Kamal Giori, keeper of the knowledge you seek. But before I reveal it, you must prove your worth in the challenge. Challenge, yes, we sort of assumed. Conquer the 70 Death Gorgons. Survive the endless labyrinth of misery. <laughs> or wound me. In my eons of life, I have never felt pain. Never felt pain? Never stubbed his toe, poked his eye, never had an ingrown hair on his peen? You wanna fight that? You can always rely on Scanlan to be the voice of reason here. Always. We choose to wound you. Very well then. Each of you will have a chance to wound me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Was this sword like a living person one time? Maybe it's it's real name is Craven. A heavy burden being the matron's champion. Sex! Your brother lives, but he will fall in the void forever. Unless one of you can succeed. So who is next? <laughs> His rules. We all hit him together before he can react. Oh, three at once. How inspiring. And futile. Too easy. And you. All jokes and no heart. I wonder how you convinced Osisa to put her faith in your lot. This is definitely going to be all on Scanlan here. So cringe right now. <laughs> You're in my cold and hopeless heart tonight. When we're worlds apart with no end inside. Staring at the hourglass and longing for a life with you. You have done what no other has before. He wounded because him, you, man. I he wounded him in his heart. <laughs> you have wounded oh my god! My heart. Emotional damage! Oh my god, I cannot believe that actually worked! So much love in my life. Uh actually. I have no one. Perhaps you need to stop looking for love and let love find you. We're alive? Who do we have to thank for that? Scanlan freaking Rise did it! With your eyes. <laughs> Damn, <How> yo. <laughs> nice thighs, yo, touch me? Eh? <laughs> now they're homies, man. <laughs> In my millennia of existence, this is the wisest sage I've ever known. The fuck? <laughs> For real? The vestige known as Mythgarver, connected to all myths and legends, including the other vestiges. Nice! Okay, now they got two. And that's perfect for Scanlan, too. Mythgarver, show me. Guys, I'm somewhere else. There's a weird sky, pink mountains. That sounds sort of like the Fey Realm. I see something. Inside this gnarly tree. Oh, Vex, it's some badass looking bow. A shift spell could get us there, but uh, it, it might not work. Kiki, think you could try? Yeah. I think it's Westrip, and it's been invaded. 
There's a bunch of dudes who look like Grog. Oh, One's this is good. This is gonna be Grog's family gauntlet. here. We're not alone. I'm afraid you've been followed. The woman was right. You have my thanks, gnome, for finding me a vestige. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be extinct? Not yet, Defiler! Get off him! Oh no, this is good and bad at the same time. Now my prize. No way he's taking Scallon and the vegetable. No way he is. I don't think the sink is surviving this though. In order to save Scanlan, man. No! He didn't even care about the vestige. He cared about his homie. Jamie! No! Thank you for showing me Osisa once more. The vestige is mine. No. Nothing can stop the Damn it! No, it's not over yet, man. Umbrasil's an idiot. He should've just ran away and left. Come on! Step it up, Keyleth. Everyone get close! Oh, he's doing some good damage on Umbrasil, though! I feel like Grok can actually take him out here! Grog, we gotta go! I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, shit. No. She's the healer, though. Who's going to heal the healer? Move. Keelan, spell! I need a little more time! We don't have it! Cast it now! <laughs> nah, man, she lost Grog Scanlan! Like... That took a lot out of her. Where is she? Took a lot out of her. Where are we? Oh, where are you guys indeed? That was a magical and mystical. Oh my god, was that emo an emotional episode. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, I knew the whole thing with Krog and the Craven's Edge was gonna get worse and worse, man. The thing just had like has an insatiable hunger. Now I don't know, it feels like this Craven's Edge thing could have been like a living creature at some point. Maybe a vampire that got turned into a sword or something. So now we, we got to the rhyme cleft, you know, that was awesome. I didn't know what we were gonna do here, really, because it, it didn't really make we weren't really clear if we were gonna meet the second sphinx or we were gonna get a vestige here, but instead we got both. But I like that little um that little test he did where he's like you guys have to hurt me and whatever i never felt pain scaling coming in giving him that emotional pain having umbrasil come in here 
taking the vestige, knowing of the vestiges and everything, it seems like Anna Ripley's influence is is great with the Chroma Conclave, and she's kind of assimilated herself well in there. And that last battle with that Grog fighting Umbrasil was amazing. I'm thinking that if Pike and nobody interfered, he would have taken down Umbrasil. I really think he would have. But then when Pike started interfering and stuff, I'm like, no, stop, don't get in front of him, stop, don't do this. And then he stabs her. I, the next vestige here is in the Fae realm, a Fae dimension, and now they gotta go fight in the bow for Vex, so it's gonna be great to see. And now Vox Machina is separated. Um, but with that note, I will see you guys around. Take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye bye.